one in four people suffers from a mental health problem at some stage. Um, and one in four of my red velvet cakes are actually grey all the way through. And that's also reflected in the decoration on the top. Three quarters of them have the sun or flowers on them and um, the other 25% have um, clouds or sad faces on them. All the cakes are absolutely delicious. So even though they look miserable, they taste amazing. So, you know, you've got ones that have rainbow interiors, there's lemon, there's a grey, miserable looking thing that's a grey tart, but it's actually strawberry and custard. So they all taste delicious. Um, and it's, I guess, just getting over that prejudice of grey cake, but that's the same with people who suffer from mental health issues. Engaging in psychological therapy can be difficult. If one's very depressed, it's difficult sometimes to focus in on things and concentrate in the way that one has to, to engage in things like cognitive behavioural therapy. Something like baking, cooking, art therapy offer a way of actually getting somebody involved in doing something, getting them focusing themselves um, both on something that can be enjoyable but it's also goal orientated and can lead to a greater sense of self-esteem if it's achieved. It's a distraction from whatever else you were doing because if you're going to do it properly and have a result that's worth having, you have to concentrate, you have to focus on that and inevitably that draws your focus away from whatever was roiling around inside you and that's a really important part of it. Potentially, from all of the hideousness and ugliness that you're feeling inside, all the horrible things that are sitting there, it's the horrible gloomy morass inside, suddenly there comes a cake. And whether you've actually decorated it up or you've simply just made sure that it is the moistest, gooiest, most delicious cake in the world ever, it is a great result. It is beauty on a plate. There's a, a, a lot of evidence that suggests that occupational therapy works. There's a number of journals that um, regularly publish evidence-based research into the benefits of occupational therapy. Obviously, I have spent enough of my time in the last 15 odd years crying and feeling pretty blinking miserable and so it is very much a portrait of me and my bad experience and it's got this huge skirt and there's an absolute ocean of grey around her it's utterly disproportionate and that's kind of the point I am there in this morass of grief and about the only thing that's to scale is the body and the apron Is it good? Yeah, delicious.